Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the Lloyd and Matt show. We are on episode... <laughs> That's Fucking not good, we started properly. No, it's already started. Yeah, we yeah. started ages ago. No, 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 let me do it properly, please. I haven't done a, a proper one before ever. Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the Lloyd and Matt show. This is episode... 75. A qu- three quarters of a century. That's how long it feels like we've been recording. <laughs> we've been, I, I can't do the intro to this day it's all stayed in you don't need to explain it no to i them. don't that started ages ago <laughs> the pod started ages ago we have some big news we have filmed a vlog <laughs> i love how that's big news most <laughs> people do that like every week <laughs> yeah but we put a lot of blood sweat and tears into this vlog yeah and you guys will be happy to know it's more than four minutes long <laughs> yeah it's gonna be like 20 something i th- i've i've just done a lot of the editing and currently, I think it's on about 11 minutes, which makes me think it could be around 25 to 35 minutes long. No chance. I think so. We spent hardly any it, time. L- l- it, you'll be so surprised. I will be if it's uh, that long. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll say 20 to 30 minutes then. Yeah. But it's very good. Like, I watched the whole thing and I'm like, oh my God, this is really good. How much do you want to give away? Um, <laughs> I don't know. How much should I give away? Well, I don't think it needs to necessarily be a surprise. I think, I'm pretty sure I've said it before anyway. Yeah, yeah. You can talk, you can okay. explain as much as you want. It was your idea. So we're going to post this on our vlog channel, which is just Lloyd and Matt. Yeah, oh yeah, we had the whole debate and the comments and everything about which channel and most people said the vlog channel. Yeah. Which was interesting too. Yeah, it is interesting. But you've got to turn the notification bell on for the vlog channel. Because do it the, right now. Do it right now. The second you are on your blower, your phone, and you dog see and bone. <laughs> the dog and bone, and you see the notification drop, blind ranking an entire city. No way. <sighs> we blind ranked an entire city. <laughs> we put it in, we have an Instagram channel now. Yes. As in like, like where, you know, where you, you can't speak in it. Ha! <laughs> but we can. <laughs> and we just put, updates in there and then you can react with an emoji yes we have one of them and everyone keeps reacting with the eggplant emoji yeah. well you encouraged it by saying who's reacting with the eggplant emoji <laughs> but i dropped a few hints on uh thursday of what we were doing and where we're going so if you want a preview of what the vlog is kind of about join the channel join the channel you'll and get help. all like, the updates first you'll yeah like we put that in thursday and it's Monday and it won't come out for another like week. Well, this, this comes out tomorrow. This pod comes out tomorrow, yeah. Should we say that it comes out not this Sunday, but the next? Well, what, what date would that be? That would be... <laughs> Yesterday was the 15th, not 22nd, the 29th. 29th. Yeah. I think we can do it sure. by the 29th. Oh, <laughs> definitely. I was thinking more so earlier, but let's just no, say the 29th I, I want, and then we can I, stick for I it. I really want to fucking build this up. Yeah, sure. 20, like, we did in, I, <laughs> like we did in year... 12 when we said we were going to an, an abandoned thing we picked it up and it actually banged this is my point do you want to just say what that was about so when we were when we did for youtube the first time which if you've listened to us before you'll know our bmm we were like 17 we went and explored an, an abandoned raf base which is where mm, oh we can't say that yeah. <laughs> so we went and explored an abandoned raf base and uh we bigged it up to our friends to to on like Snapchat. We did posts on Instagram with the date being just like, the date, just the date, nothing else, and a full stop being like, yeah. Whoa. like 29th of January 2017. That probably so where, that's that. probably when it was. No, Pretty it was close. the 28th. It was the. 28th. Well, I was just guessing. Was that no, actually it, that close? Yeah. Is the? Uh, do you know how I know it was the 28th? Oh. It was someone's birthday that day. Who? <laughs> One of my exes. Yeah. And, I, and she was like, can we do something for my birthday? And I was, babe, <laughs> the we are dropping. dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I need to post link on story. <laughs> but, but we did spam it. Yeah, we built it up. We built it up. We generated some hype around the school. We didn't tell anyone what it was. Yeah. <laughs> some people we were friends with like, what is it? What is it? And we somehow got traction for uh, us, traction anyway. Yeah. And it got like over, it was our first video to do over a thousand views and it did it quickly. (laughs) I'm going to look what it's on now. I'll I'll be surprised if it's over 1,500. 
Well, I think you are going to be surprised. We bigged it up so much. We bigged up too much. And it came out... Because <laughs> it was shit. It came out the gates like a fucking bat it, out of hell. It was literally like... I haven't said bat out of hell in fucking ages. Where is it? Oh, wait, what? The F1 headquarters of the... R- oh, no, the RAF base. The RAF base See, did, we've done uh, explore... Oh, my God, it's on 2.6K. <laughs> oh, my God. That must be our most viewed video, surely. Look at the thumbnail. Can it's you- just an alleyway. No, but that was what was getting views at the time. Mm, just just, a, just a scary picture. Like a, a doomed picture. Because it was, it was at the time of... Uh, <laughs> Yusuf, Yusuf Armadi. Yusuf Armadi, Carnage. Carnage! All these people. Oh my god, this is like a, a throwback to British. It was before Weller did it as well. Yeah. So yeah. Weller actually watched early that doors. video yeah. and thought. Oh, it's- and it, if you could see our page, it's got like. These are our video views, right? I'll go from the start. <laughs> Call out penalties is on 996. 855 286. But we privated it because it got copyright. <laughs> 207 views for reacting to clown sight. That was a stinker. 560, 223 for garden football challenges. Can and I just, that video is like enjoyable. I, I like watching that one. Yeah. It's three minutes. Oh my God, the next one above it is two <laughs> minutes long. We've, ne- <laughs> we've never dabbled in long form content until the pod. <laughs> three videos in a row. Two minutes 15, two minutes 48, two it's minutes 25. 25. Oh, we we, really, really were struggling to make them longer. Yeah. My eyes just struggled to open. What the fuck? You ain't got conjunctivitis, have you? But I shut them and they open kind of like a frog, like really delayed (laughs) one after the other, I think. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, then we did cucumber headshots. Cucumber headshots was before RAF base. Yeah, because cucumber headshots is when we like, uh, we swapped from the camera that the school gave us to do our media project to the camera that I'm using right now. Oh my God. That's... No, been... it wasn't... Oh, it was what the school gave us and I kept it. Yeah, I kept it the, as well. Yeah, it was like a camcorder. I, I, uh... I, weirdly enough, I was using the tripod they gave us when we started <laughs> the pods in this building. I only threw it out the other week, but there's probably a load of shit missing from... They just, uh, no, yeah. How really they just not never... Ask, they never asked. Because I completely forgot until you said, can we start the pod? And I was like, oh, what camera equipment do I have? And I just found it under my bed. And I was like, swear this is from the school. But even the camcorder that I kept, how did they not ask for that back? There's a fly. Yeah, there's a fly in there. It's going near you. <gasps> that was close. No, oh, near, I thought you got it. It's near you. Ah, I think I just threw my back <laughs> Something clicked. Something clicked. That fly is going to be... I want to see what the audio is like on, one of, on our early videos with the camcorder. It's not good. That makes you look upset and I'll smile. <laughs> the intro. Right, call out penalties. Oh, oh my sorry, god, turn gonna out. We're gonna have five penalties. It sounds terrible. You, sure, you gotta put that in. You gotta I'll put, put it on screen. Okay. I'll, I'll download it. I, I remember my uncle seeing that video yeah. like we literally posted it first channel and he said to you uh, so he looked at us and he was like you two are genuinely like gonna go so far from that video that's crazy he predicted and it. he was like uh, i'm not he, sure about he, <laughs> how from that one but. He, but he wanted us to do do you remember he does a lot of like video work oh yeah, yeah and yeah, he yeah. wanted us to present a few things when we were like 17 and like we were, a selling channel thing. yeah and i was like um yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, we're too focused on the dream. <laughs> <laughs> but then that's crazy. That's seven years ago, Lloyd. I fucking love these Lloyd, videos. I'm not gonna lie. Seven years ago. Yeah, it kind of actually does feel like that now. Like yeah. it's starting to feel like that. Because uh, I was w- watching these the other day. If you go on the dashboard, it says views in the last thirty days. There's twenty. Because <laughs> I just all watched, you. I watched like twenty when everyone. When yeah, because all, all of these are private. All the boys are on holiday. You were in London. I was dead ass on my own, and I just thought I'll, I'll watch them. Yeah. Like random football video. I love that video and it's That's, just nothing. That seems older than seven years ago. Yeah. That, but that. isn't it crazy, right? That, for example, Joe Weller, when he did Ronaldo Chop, yeah. that was 10 years ago. Yeah. So we were filming these three years after Ronaldo Chop. Yeah. It just, the timelines don't add up in my no, head. No, they do seem a bit weird. It does seem weird. Wait, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Our sixteenth video was the first one to crack a K. Yeah. All the rest were sitting between some got two hundred and then some would get like six hundred. <laughs> the thing is, we had 
about 2k sub- no at the time we probably had about 500 yeah oh so, definitely when so we did we, would you rather where's that a few weeks before that because we uploaded every sunday yeah that was like we didn't rarely miss a, d- a week and we had six form as well yeah that's probably we've our grades dedica- reflect our <laughs> we've dedication been dedicated to it do you know what so rufus told me a quote uh, just literally about he, I hadn't spoke to Rufus since he left and he just popped up to me saying uh, he left like a couple of days ago by co- the way he came ago. over and hung out with us and he helped us film Rufus our friend Rufus Barker not Rufus Rice in case anyone <laughs> yeah. was thinking of that even though we are friends with Rufus as well he said growth is unavoidable when you're consistent just out of the blue yeah well he needs to listen to that yeah, that's what I said <laughs> I said quote a year but maybe you put that to practice yourself <laughs> <laughs> but it's true look at look at where we came from yeah we've always oh. grinded it out we have when we were the hardest part for me was when uh we just started doing talks and i was working at amazon and we were doing two talks a day mm. and on a friday we'd film you'd edit the 6 p.m videos and then i'd come home from work at about 6 p.m and edit the 8 p.m video and i wouldn't eat like i'd just done about 13 a 12 to 14 hour shift and I was that excited to edit yeah. a talk to post. <laughs> and then I would just... I don't, yeah, I don't think people realise that. I think we actually are like the epitome of like... <laughs> don't. <laughs> the epitome don't, of... Don't do it. Hard work. <laughs> hard work beats talent. <laughs> when talent fails to work hard. Do you, I, do you think we're talented? No, I do Obviously think we are. Obviously you are. Because you're good at everything. That's a lie. Oh, come on. There's loads of stuff I'm better. We can cut this out. You're good at everything. Stop glazing. <laughs> so are you. Like what? Everything. Just name what something. What are you bad at, though? Name something. I, no, I was getting frustrated the other day because I couldn't kick a ball in that fucking bin. And you guys were willy-nilly. <laughs> willy-nilly. <laughs> no, I'm... Um, the only thing I'm good at is the Rubik's Cube. Because that's because nobody else... No, you're good at loads of things. Don't be... No, I'm just, you know... Don't be a pygmy. <laughs> No, sometimes it gets to me, you know. Jesus. What we said just before that. <laughs> you though. said hard work beats talent. That was it. I think we are. We've worked hard, to be fair. Yeah, but there's uh, only so much hard work you can do with... Uh, we put a lot of time into this, for sure. Yeah, the pot and, and that. The thing is, I've got no problem with that because I really freaking enjoy it. Yeah, it's the journey. If you don't enjoy the journey, you're doing the wrong thing. Exactly. But there's there's people that we speak to that are like why the fuck are you editing everything yourself and it's just like I enjoy it yeah it's hard work control freaks yeah like it done our way that's the thing if I if we said got someone to edit the talks for us I genuinely just don't think they'd be able to do it the way we do I don't think not at the start I think yeah. we'd vet every video and make changes it and then over so time long. they'd be like they'd get it I think yeah it takes so long because well. I think you've got a bit overkill with the talks with the editing but not necessarily <laughs> the editing with the sound editing yeah they're uh, overlapping too much now no, it's like no, too no. much to I, if you look at any talks right mm. that do well mm. there's barely unless it's like comedic timing yeah there is barely any time between speech yeah and I don't mind no time not, but yours not are even, like, not they've even, gone too far they're like, like they're like two no, two you, words at once. Do you know how? Thing. Yeah, but do you know why you, the the end of the word and the start of the word overlap? Because if you look at any Twitch stream, like I was watching, um, handsome fella. I don't know who that He's is. He's so funny, like literally one of the funniest streamers. He's what like does he play. I think he just does more talking, okay. but he's got like a deep American voice, and he says like, uh, "Would my mother be my?" is my mother my daughter i don't know and stuff like okay. that and just just really sarcastic yeah. like really dry humor but he it, when he edits his videos just non-stop talking yeah. like there is no pause and i think tiktok everyone's brain is getting more and more mushy yeah that i don't like that this, if there's a second pause they'll go yeah and yeah, but it didn't need to pause I, like that you can get them to go back to back without having the full words start to overlap because there was just one video where I watched it and I was like this is too much like it's really hard to listen to there's some I time, can't which one it was there's it some was time where it's like Whoa. yeah but you know what it's working plus I've got it down now to I'm absolutely rapid yeah my brother said are you are you a touch typist yeah where well, you don't look yeah I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in the world that does this. I use this part of my hand to press the space bar. 
So I've got like the key, I got the keys with these. Yeah. Backspace here, and then the space bar. Press and pause like yeah. that. I go. And I, I, my brother was like, "What?" And I was like, I "Genuinely think I'm the only person in the world pressing the space bar yeah, on my that wrist." Because I, I have my keyboard like that, so it's like you're playing Fortnite. Yeah. Really? Well, the, well, they have it the other way because all the buttons are on that side. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm I'm, go, go gadget. I'm way ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> I'd definitely hand off the editing if I could. <laughs> That's you the love that editing. Part. Well, the thing is, when now that I've got that that thing that does it for you sped it up so much yeah the talk is the longest part exactly you don't have a job anymore really no <laughs> ai has taken over and i'm doing youtube it's 10 times easier yeah but then but i wanted i wanted to i'm so happy with i would have edited out. i would have done it but it was your vision yeah so i wouldn't want to do it wrong plus you need to get an updated i need a new macbook well hopefully the coin 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 <laughs> the yeah, I'm. I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. Hasn't it's not finished yet? It might. It might go like this. The no, pacing might fall. I don't. Off I the, don't the, think it will because it genuinely is. It is it funny? It's really funny. It's it's like uh, just really well shot as well. I'm very impressed with Guion and Rufus. Yeah, we had dual cameras. Dual cameras. It's and not it, just not just one speaking. I, I think what hap- what we need after once we do it, there's going to be a few voiceover bits we're gonna to have to create from here okay maybe we use the the other mics there yeah. yeah 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 um but i'm very happy i'm so excited to post it should we say the 29th then yeah and we'll yeah. get it done by then should we should we get are we gonna have an animation yeah i i, I can create them i can create animations but okay. like is it be- is it worth going to fiverr Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. And asking them to create like a globe and then a pin and yeah. zoom into it and and stuff like that. Yeah, it might be worth having that and okay. then voice over that bit. Sunday the 29th of September, the Lloyd and Matt show. Uh, no, <laughs> Ooh. the Lloyd and Matt. No, just, just Lloyd and Lloyd Matt. And Matt. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vlog will be on there. It'll be titled "We Blind Ranked an Entire City," because if you watch our talks or our pods, if you're watching this, we often rank things from 1 to 10 and then we debate our lists mm. we've taken that and we've gone out into the field and we've done it with real places yes and it was our first ever public video yeah and we were fine well there was bits where i wasn't fine really? like i genuinely because there was like uh there were i think you can see on the seventh location there's a there were two kids that were like they're from TikTok and they just stood right behind the camera <laughs> and I was like really nervous really? to finish it I yeah and really then we that. got a few comments on TikTok bit as well being like I saw you oh really yeah oh I'm gonna blur out the city okay, okay. just so that they can watch it and okay. see yeah because it was uh, the thing and also as well if I want you guys to comment on the video on this video what city we should do next yeah because we want to take this if this does well. How many views for you do you reckon it is well? Do you reckon? Because if it's it's a 30 minute video. It needs to get to 5k quickly. Yeah, it does need to get to 5 I, I, I want in the month, uh, the first month as well. This might be a big ask. 20. I want 20k. Yeah, that would be a good sign. If it, <laughs> if it's on like two after like a couple of weeks, like the Spain one. Oh, it'll, yeah. It'll, it's a bit, it's too much to film to. Yeah, it, it's a, the, that's the thing. We left here at. 10 o'clock in the morning and then we got back here at seven o'clock if not later if not later yeah oh no it was later yeah, wasn't it because i didn't it post to the, eight yeah. i think it was yeah. about eight fuck it out it was such a long day we were saying yesterday as well we were meant to film this yesterday and you were like how are you feeling to film the pod and i was like i'm knackered yeah <laughs> like really the, flat. the video has tired me out we big. did yeah it was like 19k steps yeah in those eight hours and i drove for four and a half hours in total i'm pretty sure it was so long it was very but now that we've done it there's like you can we can correct things in the future like we'll learn each video how to speed it up or make it more efficient and the camera work mics everything will improve but it's already fucking looks great from what i've seen yeah the two cameras Oh, it looks so good. I need to get a new camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that thing is <laughs> shit. That's like taking, that's like a granddad coming around. Like, <laughs> that's the equivalent of a granddad. Yeah, but can we just say, right, I've had this camera since the first 
since 17. So without this, this is... It I, shows, though. Now it does. Just get that one. Just have two of the same. Uh, yeah, I that's think... That's definitely down in price. I think I will. Because they brought out a second one. Mm. So uh, just, that's probably... So should I just buy that one? <laughs> From <laughs> this, me. This exactly what? <laughs> I'll sell it. The, I'll still it. The City one. Yeah, I know. I'm just excited. Mm. Like genuinely. Oh, I'm excited. Quickly, uh, look at me. So 29th of September, that's coming up. Be there. Look at me and look shocked. Okay. Because this is going to be a thumbnail. And okay. you guys are seeing the thumbnail. Okay. So I'm just going to close my eyes, yeah. Cool. Because I want to talk about how I was hypnotized. What? I was hypnotized. Oh, you told me about it. So my friend's mother does... Uh, oh, what's it called? Hypnosis. Yeah, well... Hypno treatment. Yeah, like hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy. Does hypnotherapy where it's not like you're under a trance and you and you just go bang and sleep. Mm. Although I believe like that... I absolutely believe that would happen. From from what I experienced, I 100% believe I could be... Were you just being nice? No, 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 no. So it was like... <laughs> it was it was like I sat down. It's kind of like Get Out. Have you seen the film Get Out? Yeah. When he's like in the chair and can't move. It was kind of like that. But not in a bad way. Not not like Get Out in that way. Um, and she walks you through it. And, I, and your brain has a consciousness and an unconscious part of your brain. Mm. And you don't use the unconscious part, but it remembers stuff, obviously. And it comes to... The, the forefront no it comes from the back comes to the forefront oh okay because <laughs> your cerebellum is where the memory's kept cerebellum cerebellum and then so you sit and you your consciousness gives away and your unconscious brain takes over and describes everything and i was like so you either close your eyes or you stare into one space and i was staring into one space on the, on the floor there was a mark on the back of the wall and I swear to God, my, my, I just wasn't, I was just speaking. There was no barrier between my brain and my mouth. There was no <laughs> thinking about what I was saying. I could have said anything. I want Dunkin' Donuts. No, literally, I could, I could have <laughs> gone, said the most racist stuff. No, I mean, you say that with your conscious brain. <laughs> <laughs> I get called woke. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and and it, and it took me on a journey basically because as you pick something that you're struggling with or worried about or whatever. What did you pick? You don't have to say. Like anxiety to go into certain situations I've never been in. Yeah. So that was why I spoke. That was what I picked. And then you build your unconscious brain through the guide, the guidance builds an entire story, and it was fucking nuts. I was in like. <laughs> My route took me from like a path in London that had big stop signs and cement blocks. That's what I said it, I visualized the barrier as that I couldn't get past. And then I went and then I went along the London road and then it turned into a desert and there was nothing on the side, no path, just a desert. And then I came up across this big city that had a purple sky. The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> the Emerald City. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a big purple sky in this nighttime city that was hustling and bustling yeah. driving through it but there was no other cars on the road kept going whatever took me to a beach which was like almost like the beach in Baywatch oh god <laughs> and that's what I could see it was like beautiful clear water Pamela then it Anderson. ended up being huh Pamela <laughs> <Anderson>. <laughs> <laughs> then it ended up being a cove with like the most colourful fishes and the water was like <laughs> A bottle of water like that see-through like it wasn't even blue it was ba <laughs> barely even blue and then it took me and then i got back in the car and it took me up mountain this big windy mountain that then turned onto a sh like a, a house that was on the edge of a cliff looking over this huge city that i'd just seen what were you thinking of at this point though nothing nothing that walk, was entirely just going from step to step were you to walking? step i was in a car most of it so were they was the the woman sort of telling you where like what to was she or was she just saying nothing at this point she was just saying like so what do you see now okay and what is it what does it look like she in must detail? have been like how fucking hell this boy is a she was surprised at how easily my conscious brain let the unconscious take over I think there was we, no fight I think we are really creative down to the core yeah that, Cause, yeah exactly because I've been hypnotized as well yeah because my when my friend did it she like would was fighting between conscious and unconscious mm. like couldn't quite get there and it created like a scarier path 
Mm. So it was really, really strange and different. And yeah, she, my friend's mum was surprised with how it went, basically. Because I was just so... She wasn't going to do hypnotherapy. It was more of like a guidance thing. But then my brain just really quickly allowed itself to just go on this really weird place. And it was like I was having a barbecue in this big like wooden house on the hills with a pool and everyone was there my family was there everyone was there and it was like a barbecue and then everyone left but in this time she asks you like what was your okay so who like how do you feel what are you doing and i'd be like oh my family are there i'm having a barbecue and then she was like what what's your what are you wanting to do and i was like feed everyone da, da, da. and that whole guidance thing <laughs> takes you and it created an entire map yeah it was fucking insane and then my eyes were going really like my because i probably stared at the same spot for so long my eyes started tripping mm. so i like couldn't really see anything else it was fucking insane i i i recommend it especially I, I, maybe I've, even for a pod we I've, get like a hypnotist on i have done it before what guide it like hypnotherapy yeah. or, or like that type of one no uh what well, is similar to what you just said mm. yeah i was literally it was really weird it was like uh i was on earth I knew it was Earth. Yeah. And it was like a trail that just went on and on and on until you could see like the curvature of the Earth. And on one side, there was like really white water. And on the other side, there was dark blue water. But up above, like it was blue sky, but you could see like Saturn and stuff. And I just like walked and walked and walked. And I remember... <laughs> doing it with my eyes shut and apparently my mouth was wide open <laughs> like that uh and uh i remember tripping on a rock and i literally like jolted up like in real life in real life yeah. being like whoa like i had the sensation that i fell and i just thought it was really like did i ever tell you about the dream i had where <laughs> you never came to my primary school ever did you um I, well, I've been to the outside of it. Okay. Not in, not in that sort of way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember one night at like 9 p.m., I think me, you, and Guion, it was around like COVID time, parked up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember the lay by where the bus yeah, would stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we had, we used to do like gymnastics in the food hall. It yeah. was just a big hall in yeah. our primary school. Probably was actually tiny looking back at it now. See, I think that as well. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was massive at the time, but it's definitely small. And we'd get all this gymnastics equipment out. Pommel horse, mm -hmm. all this stuff. Is pommel horse the one you jump and then jump over? No, a pommel horse is a bar with two hoops on it. And you okay, sort of... Yeah. So, okay, perfect. That's the one. But we had a spring that you had to run and like just jump over it because no one was good enough to do pommel horse. We yeah. just put that as like a barrier. And in my dream, I was asleep. I reckon I was like 18 two people were walking towards me with the pommel horse <laughs> and I was like <gasps> trying to get out of the way and they were just coming closer it was really wide and then I tried to jump over it and I hit my like shin as I was jumping so I was like just falling face first and I woke up from my from that dream I woke up and I shit you not I was in the air <laughs> I was I was in the air on the way down <laughs> like into my pillow <laughs> So I'd like either push myself up and I woke up. <laughs> I'm not joking. I woke up midair on the way down and my eyes opened and I was in the air coming down to my pillow. Did I never tell you that? Was that in here? No, it was, it was, I think it was, it was in Janssen, I think. Right. In my first or my second <laughs> house I ever lived in. Literally woke, eyes like shot open really wide and I just landed in my pillow, just face first. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you were going onto the floor. <laughs> no. <laughs> like you push yourself. I'd push myself up, but not even just my top half. I didn't just do this and come back down. Legs as well. <laughs> my legs are in the air coming down. I keep getting recently, last two days, I, I feel like someone's watching me when I'm asleep to the point where I can feel them playing with my moustache playing with your moustache yeah and last night was my armpit which is weird because i just shaved my armpit as well i can't believe you haven't woken up to me doing that yet <laughs> Still, do you know what i have actually been worried about see this is really serious now yeah. so don't laugh <laughs> okay you can't start it like that because i'm just gonna laugh so you, you know in the in the in the video we filmed when we're at the english heritage site just after i'd worked on the floor i said to you 
my nipples leaking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought the juice was coming. <laughs> yeah. So and then t- the day after, I was like, my nipples leaking as mm. well. And last night it was leaking. And I looked up what that means. Yeah. And it's breast cancer. So I need to go to the doctors basically. But here's the thing: I can't work out if it's sweat from my armpit because I sweat from my right armpit a million times more than my left. And That's got to be something. I'm well. worried that if my things just my t-shirt's gone like that dripped it's come back and it's been around my nipple because it's never been like on my nipple yeah but i'm drip dripping constantly from my armpit can dudes get breast cancer yeah really yeah yeah i felt it like religiously the last day is that actually true i got no lumps yeah it's really rare but yeah breast that's breast if men leak from that so this is a psa to every woman to every man feel your tits feel your balls just yep. feel it now. This is your reminder. See if you find a lump. If you find a lump, go straight to the doctor. Go, go straight to the doctor. But I, I, don't, I don't think it is leaking. It's just water keeps getting in that area weirdly. Yeah. Weirdly. I didn't even know they could leak. Just what? Like clear fluid? Well, it's just been on mine. It's just been a patch. But it's not on it. It's always like just to the side of it. Because I wear oversized t-shirts, it sort of moves left and right with me. Mm. So... I, Every now and then I'd feel it go over the water, like go over it and I'd be like, oh. And then I'd be like, what the hell? But it's not been hot enough for your armpits to sweat. unless Mate, Well, I'm, you are quite a big sweater I'm actually. I'm sweating yeah, now. You are quite a big sweater. Don't put, put this on you, get your reaction. Okay. Right. Oh. Wait. <laughs> See? It's not even that hot. What's the bloody temperature? Oh, hey, weather chat. Welcome back to the weather chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking... Uh, uh, I think 19 degrees. Oh, it's 20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this room, it's very humid. Yeah, and uh, it's 59% humidity outside. Oh my God, the weather's getting hot next week. We're going to London on Thursday as well, and it's a measly 24. Yeah, we're at an event on Thursday. For White Fox. Shout out White Fox. Yeah. Well, unless it's a rubbish event, I and mean, then it won't be. <laughs> oh no, but they did send us some clothes. So yeah, yeah, shout out White Fox. But, but yeah, look, look at that. I've got water now on my armpit, uh, our elbow. <laughs> my <laughs> armpit because <laughs> it's just drip well so I took my t-shirt off I could feel this bit touch this bit but the thing is and I stand by this I my sweat smells nice fuck off it does what does it smell of that makes it smell it nice it smells and this is going to sound like I'm be, being such like a character when I say this but it smells musky like a manly smell musk means stink like well, bad no no doesn't no it? musk is nice you've got fragrances that are like musk Oh, I'm thinking of musty. Musty, yeah. No, musk. But like leather. Also as well, the amount I sweat is not in, in relation any way to how much I smell. Because sometimes I just smell, I sweat and it's like, fucking hell, that sandwich is coming up. Sometimes I sweat and it's literally just like there's nothing. Well, yeah, it does, it's a strong smelling reddish brown substance, which is secreted by the male musk deer for scent marking and is an important ingredient in perfumery. Yeah. Should we fuck around and make some perfumery? <laughs> well, yeah, you can do perfume making things. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make your own. I wonder how much that is. I wonder if you have to drip your sweat into Ugh. it. Because you could probably make a better scent. Like you, you buy Versace for eighty-five pound a bottle. Mm. You go to a prefer- per- perfumery, perfumery, and you make your own joint. Mm. I wonder how much that would cost. Because you could make it tailored to you and what you want. Exactly. Well, I, I saw a wrong. tweet today that said can men start buying perfume that looks like their face because I'm turning around for <laughs> ugly men or something like that oh okay yeah <laughs> well because the scent's attracting them do you think you smell nice Your per- do you think Versace Eros smells nice is, yeah like is, do you think that's your smell yeah but then I've used it I need to get some more stuff yeah because I've used it you just become not n- neutral to it I fucking smell it you spray one puff and I t- probably 15 seconds later I can smell it okay, in my room okay good because I'm struggling it's to now so smell it it's so strong you I've one. started spraying it more than <laughs> <laughs> this is going to stink them out <laughs> and then I use Captain not Morgan what is it it's called Red Spice Old Spice Captain Red Spice Red That's Spice <laughs> Old Spice Captain something yeah. or whatever under my arms which is a, is a newer mm-hmm. smell which I can smell and I spray too much of that as well I need smell. to get some more as well so we I think can... it smell nice in general yeah yeah but I, I, I don't think I... If it's like a... Sometimes if I've been on like a run or I'm playing football or something, 
my clothes will smell. Mm. But if I'm just like, I don't have clothes on, don't know what I'd be doing. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I smell. Yeah, I, I don't tend I to I can smell. feel a drip, a big drip. Hold on, I'll show you. What, right now? Yeah, look. Oh my God, Matt. There's like a fucking waterfall. Mate, How is it already down by but your But it hip? doesn't smell. I, you could smell that and it wouldn't. Is it salty? If you licked I think it. so. Have you ever licked a, uh, just a big bundle of sweat? Well, I haven't licked it. I get on my face. I get oh quite... God, s- and I go... And I'm like, bloody hell. <laughs> bloody hell. Takes me back. Also as well, I'm on um pretty high dosage of Tren, which is... Uh, no, makes you're me- not. Yeah, I am. What, Make- in your asthma pump? No. Just in- you're going, shooting up Tren. <laughs> shooting up Tren. And that makes shooting you sweat a lot, tea. so... He's not on train, guys. Don't believe, <laughs> believe that. But uh, it, can I just can I just say it's humid as fuck in this room because there's a towel against the window and it's making the room humid. It's hot in this room, okay? I'm not that hot. Maybe it's because I got my. Oh, you got trousers on and a black t-shirt. I got shorts, no I'm, socks. I'm I got the, the grippers out. Ah, the sun. <laughs> Which makes me think. Does it? What are the best months of the year? Oh, what a segue! I'm gonna stop my camera there. Okay, we'll be back in a second, guys, with the talks. <laughs> the best months in order, 1 to 12, go. Number 12, November. Number 12, November. Let's go! It's the worst it month. It is the worst. There's no Halloween, there's no, no Christmas, no. it's cold, it's rainy, there's nothing going on. Sorry if you have a birthday. <laughs> November is the most popular d- time for birthdays. Well. Is it? Yeah, because a lot of people get crazy. <laughs> Pre-summer beat. <laughs> <laughs> Number 11, January. <gasps> Number 11, February. Ooh. Well, February is pointless. No, because it has Valentine's Day, which benefits it if you're in a relationship. And it goes really quick. Because there's one less day. Well, two less days, sometimes one. Okay. So it does, February goes quite quick and it's just a bit better than January, in my opinion. No. Number 10, I have March. Yeah. Yeah. I've got January. Okay. Because, it, again, it is like, oh, you're on a downer from December. Yeah. But, it's you know, it's a new year. It's a new beginning. You sometimes have a boost. Yeah. The new uh, plans. Exactly. Number nine, I have February. Number nine, I got March. So, we got the same bottom four, right? Yeah. Just in a different order. That's everyone's bottom four. Surely. Unless your birthday's there. Yeah, but a birthday isn't... Unless you're a big romantic as well. <laughs> Number eight, I have September. I have September number eight. No way. Kizzy. I feel like this is... I've, are we going to be really similar the whole way? I think we have ev- like we have the same at every time. I don't think this would be actually. Number seven, I have April. Number seven, I have April. No way. Yeah. And your birthday is 7th of April. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that. But I did. What a great friend I am. <laughs> <laughs> number six, October. I got August. Okay. That's... That's low. O- October, because October for me is the real start of December. It's oh, and then we just skip November. Exactly, because that is. A- I hate November. But October, it's still a little bit warm. You've got the, the layoff of mm. the warmth. It's also dark at night. And Halloween. The clocks go back. Yeah, six. I've never been the biggest fan of Halloween. I like it, but you'll see. It's just a bit cozier. Number five, I have May. That is low. I don't think so. That you you are oh, that is low. I don't think so. Number five, I got July. The height of summer. Of uh, five. It's what? It's really overrated, July. How? It just is because it's like it just is. Pre pre <laughs> pre pre <laughs> it's it's Wait, I didn't say my sixth. Yeah, you did. What did I say? No, I haven't said it. Yeah, you said you had um don't know. No. I What'd you have at six? Six, I've got August. No, you did say that. Oh, did I? Yeah. I don't think I did. No, you did. I don't think I did. Well, no, you can just put that in. Okay. But I think you did. What did you have at five? I got July number five. Yeah, you'd already said that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, July is like height of summer and it's before school kids are out. It's just, for me, it's it's a weird point it's like just a weird time every july has been like the same in my eyes okay and it's just a bit like it seems like it's an in-between month if you get me okay plus it's fifth on the list it's not a bad one yeah number four i have august 
Number four, I got October. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting very close. August is like sort of normally prime weather. Yeah. But then it is busier everywhere, so it can't be that high. Yeah. Normally quite sweaty as well. It rains a bit. Number three, I have July. Okay. It's like, I like it. It's midsummer. That's This is the thing. Yeah, it's not the best, mm. but it's not August. No. Number three, I got December. Okay. It's... It's, it's I fucking love Christmas yeah but Christmas saves it a lot that week from Christmas to New Year is just beautiful I tend to get into the Christmas spirit earlier though because I really really force myself to be Christmassy okay I made snowflakes on my own for like four hours one day you didn't help me once I wasn't here yes you were no you, I wasn't you weren't in the Christmas spirit either I came back to the snowflakes <laughs> they were all just sat there just telling me what to do <laughs> Number two, I have December. Understandable. You do like yeah, Christmas. Yeah, I love Christmas, yeah. Two. Okay, do you want to say... No, no, go ahead. Two. I got May. Okay. Wait, where did I put May? Quite low. Yeah, you put May like... Five, I think, yeah. May, for me, is the time you notice the clocks have gone forward. Yeah, and it's like the summer's ahead of you. Yes. Like, uh, there's excitement. And it's still hot. It's, it's like, hot enough. It's still a good time. Last couple of years, it's been the hottest. Been amazing. Sevens and BBC Radio 1 Festival were both in May exactly. and that was hot. Exactly. Yeah. We were outside sweating in May. We got the same number one. June. June. It's, it's just the best month. It actually just is the best what? month. I'm born on June. I mean, in June. <laughs> June 26th, almost exactly six months after Christmas. Wow. So I go, birthday, six months, Christmas, six months, birthday, six months, Christmas. So I'm never away for too long from one of those joints, you know? Like, imagine being born November. You've got November, it's down and dirty and murky and muddy and rainy, and then you've got Christmas, and then you have to wait a whole 11 months to come back for something fun. That is true. June's got to be number one. Plus, you can do outside activities, which I'm always so jealous of, because... This year for my B day, we did a bike ride, which w- it was actually quite hot that day, but it was still a bit cold in the air. Yeah, yeah, you you could see your breath a little bit. Yeah. That was quite nice. It was like crispy. It was it sunny, was, crispy is quite nice. Exactly. It but June nice. is just prime summer. I just think a crispy day is very nice, but you don't really get them a lot. No, it's they are very rare. Yeah, very rare. Like the the first year we moved in. We had a lot of crispy Januarys and Februarys because mm. we went on a lot. Of, we went bike riding to Zambanks. Yeah. And it was like really sunny. Yeah. And filming the pod, it was really sunny in like February. Yeah. But last year, fuck it. This ah, year. Cool. This year. It's been this year. When? Yeah. Kay. Rough. Rough and ready. Rough. Okay. Rough. Okay. I got one talk that is too rude to be a talk. Really? I still want to say it though. Okay. It's the most down bad things you've ever done. Okay. We can try it as a talk. Okay, it's not. This is too down bad for a talk. So you just want it in the pod? I just want it in the pod. I drew her in art class and I beat my shit to the drawing. No, that's fucking insane. (laughs) No, that's definitely not a talk. That (laughs) was fucking shadow man. He beat to a drawing that he did. I bet it looked nothing. No, no, no. I I bet it looked nothing like her either. That's insane. I beat to the smell of her hoodie. Why? How does that get you off more than just fucking porn or or just even images of her? How does the smell of her hoodie? It it's probably smells one. like fucking what's a girl's scent? Like Ariana Grande's scent or whatever it is. Do you remember when all the girls used to have that Hollister like? Yeah, <sighs> the running gun. This one's crazy. Yeah. Bust- oh, the other two were. <laughs> this one's mental. Busted to her handwriting. Oh, that's fucking insane. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> To her handwriting. You can forge that. She could not even be who you think it is. That's insane. She touched my hand at school and I beat with the same hand after school. (laughs) Pre-wash. Just didn't wash it. That's fucking absurd. What the fuck are these people doing? How old? They're like 16. (laughs) I beat to her musically. (laughs) That's fucking disgusting. That's This one must be fake. She left a sock at my house, so I used it. How do you leave a sock, by the way? Yeah, who leaves <laughs> the house with one sock? And then why are you using it? <laughs> Busted to her. <laughs> 
busted to a house on Google. <laughs> Buzzed into her house on Google Earth. <laughs> These people. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Uh, that actually made me cry. <laughs> we switched school IDs, and when I got home, I started kissing her ID. <laughs> That's when you know uh, you are so down bad. They're not even down bad, they're fucking so weird. I beat to her bitmoji. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the count. It's done. Stop the count. <laughs> that was the last one. Fucking hell. What your ringtone says about you. Let's hit it. <laughs> Old as shit. <laughs> Everyone's dad has that. I saw a million comments said, My dad has that. Why would you? It's like a HSBC advert type yeah. B. Like, why would you have that? Put yourself through that. Yeah. Ugh. As a ringtone. As a ringtone. I've never heard any fucking person have that as a ringtone. People have it as alarms. I have it as an alarm. Yeah, you do. That's it my wake, alarm. It wakes me up from the other side of the house. It's like PTSD driven. Why Dude, if that's you, your ringtone, that's fucking horrible. Why do you have that though? Because it like shocks you into waking up. That's not how you should it, wake like up. Like your brain goes. Ugh. It's like John Pork's calling. <laughs> I swear that's the exact audio from John Pork is calling. That's fucking horrible. When are they going to create nice ones? Yeah, why There's like barely any nice ones. No, the new Apple ringtones are all so gentle and delicate. Yeah. And they, but they're not, they're not nice. They're just a bit like. They're, Softer. They're, yeah, they're trying to be soft. Yeah. Is that the one you have? That's my timer. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. That's not that bad. That one's fine. It's repetitive. It's like Morse code on steroids. <laughs> so what type of person has that? Apart from an alpha male cooking. <laughs> yeah, the, the fucking Zulu warriors. <laughs> what is a Zulu warrior? Do you reckon like tribesmen have alarms? But then who wakes them up? They're tribesmen. That They make chants. Like there'll be one person who signals everything. Yeah, but if a tribesman has to get up at 6am, who's waking up the tribesmen to wake everyone Natural up? Natural body clock. <laughs> the sun. That is true. Yeah. Or the waves crashing, or anything. Hey. That's like fucking, who would have that? Krusty the Clown? <laughs> like, that's fucking bizarre. No, either really young kids. Yeah. Or old ladies. Who find it, like, funny. Yeah, who are like, ooh, ooh. I'm getting a call from the pirate. Yeah, like a dancey joke, <laughs> yeah. From 1700s East India Trading Company. <laughs> <laughs> Like every Android user ever. <laughs> How have they not discovered that they are a meme? They definitely have, surely. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> they're all they're all unorganized as well. And really loud. Yes. Like they have it on full volume. And they have like mountaineering backpacks just to go to like Tesco's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's kind of got that's like waiting room music. That's like on hold. <laughs> You were actually be bopping to that. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Who would have that though? Well, I had that in school and that is like a PTSD for me for like year nine. Why did you go Scottish then? What, what are you talking about? You said school. School. It's like PTSD for a school. <laughs> okay, what do you want to comment? I can't wait for the vlog. Comment, I can't wait for the vlog. Like the video, subscribe, notifications on, notifications on the vlog channel, Lloyd and Matt. Uh, five stars on Spotify. Follow us on Spotify, Instagram. It's popping over on Instagram. Yes. On the channel, join the channel. Personal Instagrams. Just, you know, follow us on everything. And look out for the vlog. Notifications on. That's a big one. September 29th, Sunday, 7 p.m. It's going to go off. Be there. Peace. Peace. <laughs>